and Dr. Rao, I was hoping you could talk a little bit, talk to us a little bit about some of the new advances in treatment of chronic constipation, uh, particularly one recently approved uh, therapy. There are some real exciting uh, in, in, uh, developments in the chronic constipation arena. You know, again, um, if you really switch back to 10, 15 years ago, the only thing we had was over-the-counter laxatives, uh, and we would beat it to death. And the next thing came along was polyethylene glycol, Miralax, which is quite effective and still remains effective. But these are all laxatives. We then really started developing a, a new class of compounds that were really specifically effective in altering colonic muscle, nerve, transmitter function. Uh, and in that realm, also secretagogues. So lubiprostone was the first chloride channel activating agent. Again, effective, but modestly. The newer ones, which were the guanlate cyclase agonist agents, such as linaclotad and plecanotad, were somewhat more effective in management of constipation. Uh, so we were in that class of what we call as secretagogues. We had those osmotic laxatives like polyethylene glycol, uh, also, you know, magnesium compounds are all in the same realm of things. And then we um, had a new serotonin compound about three, four years ago, it was approved and that was procalopride. Mm -hmm. It is, acts on the 5-HT4 receptor agonist. So it works selectively on the serotonin receptors, which are present throughout the gut, much, much more in the colon and the small bowel and it stimulates gut peristalsis and thereby it restores bowel function. So these were the agents that we've been using, uh, I think for the last uh, several years. Uh, so, but the latest kid on the block is a totally non-pharmacological approach. Again, it's interesting we're talking about non-pharmacological approaches. So this is a, a capsule that vibrates. Now, the best way to describe this, I mean, we all, you know, with the cell phones and so on, we all know this vibrating sensation. You know, we right. put our phones on the vibrating mode. So everybody feels that little vibration when the phone vibrates. It's almost the same technology that they have now transferred that into a simple, small, miniaturized capsule, which literally vibrates. The concept behind that is by generating vibration, you locally excite the muscles wherever it is in contact with. And this local excitement of the muscle will then translate into uh, uh, strong contractions of the muscle leading to peristalsis or movement of stool. The concept was great. They started with this product almost 10 years ago, you mm -hmm. believe it or not. And they've been really trying to develop the concept because it requires a lot of thought you know, you can have the capsule vibrate extraordinarily fast. You can have it vibrate very, very slow. You can have the capsule vibrate for five minutes. You can have the capsule vibrate for five hours. Of course, the battery will run out very quickly after a few hours. So a lot of permutations and combinations. Also, when do you give the capsule? Um, and what time of the day? So these kind of things were in trials and tribulations that they had. Eventually, um, I think they came up with a very nice formula, which is what they started a clinical study in 2020, uh, where they, in this clinical trial, the capsule was administered at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock at night, but it was designed to vibrate in, at two different times. In one group, it vibrated starting at 6 a.m. the next day. In the other group, it started vibrating at two o'clock in the afternoon the next day. And of course, the third group, it was completely sham. So they had no vibrating capsule in them. So when the trial eventually went through, the group uh, in whom this 6 a.m. start was designed, they did not respond as well as the 2 p.m. group. So the trial proceeded thereafter with just the 2 p.m. group and the sham group, and the trial completed last October and November time. We presented the results, I think, in DDW earlier this year, and and uh, really, I, I was informed by the by the company that they just got their FDA approval about a couple of weeks ago, which is really exciting news. So this concept is very simple: a patient will take uh, up to five capsules a week, once once a day, once at night, 
and then it will get activated the next day and then they just pass the capsule out and and it restores bowel habit and and i think the data is even somewhat better than some of the pharmaceutical data that we have seen uh, in the recent past but the unique feature is no side effects again oh, very wow. little side effects about 9 10% of patients reported some mild vibrating sensation but the majority didn't even feel anything 90% didn't feel anything and no diarrhea um no other systemic side effects because nothing is there to get absorbed so i think it may really give us a, a unique option for managing these kind of patients uh, you know in in our day to day management so it is approved for chronic constipation uh, but this was a short term trial you know it was it was a eight week study so we don't know uh, what will be its benefit in the long term right. but but i think as a scientist like you and i are as a as an academician you know i am a little excited about this product in one sense because for the first time it is giving us some new options where you can program this yeah. capsule hopefully tomorrow you know they may be able to say okay if you think currently you uh, the capsule is activated for 2 hours maybe if they say they're seeing modest benefit maybe you can program it for 4 hour activation or 3 hour activation so i think you have a unique way of calibrating uh what kind of results you want to have and tomorrow maybe it may also give us options in management of other conditions for example gastroparesis where you can start program it right away so you know we have some i mean some of our constipated patients have a mixed problem as you know i mean you you do a lot of these studies using wireless motility capsule and so on so now we may have a situation where we can program uh initially to start in the stomach then to go quiet and then start programming again in the colon so you know these options are i'm team so i'm really excited about that it's really interesting very fascinating um i'm wondering where it would fit in in the algorithm of patient management i think that might be really interesting yeah i think we you know there's no reason why we can't start them early the only yeah. only thing we have to be careful though i mean you know again every every product we all, always have to weigh the risks and the benefits right. so this wouldn't be a, a good a uh, device treatment for someone who have had previous uh, significant gi surgeries you know people who've had anastomosis or people who've got um, obstructive disease or stenosis i don't think it's a good idea because the capsule may get stuck so we need to be careful in weighing our patients but the vast majority don't have these problems right so i think you know people clearly who've never had any surgery or so on it'll be good uh, so i think you know as long as you weigh in those options Right. and and i think the company also is very keen they only want to talk start talking only to gastroenterologists so they're trying to do their homework right okay. i'm hoping that once we get our experience this will be quite useful 